Hey YouTube, it is Ryan here, and if you click the link in the video description below, you can get to this page, which is for Gemini 2, and it's free software that allows you to remove duplicate files. That's duplicate folders, duplicate songs, duplicate drawings, duplicate everything, emails, all this backed up stuff that you might have four versions of. Uh, so let's try this out. I've actually never opened this up, but let's go to the, click that link in the video and we can do this together. We'll go to the free download button first and we'll click that. It's gonna open us up to a new page and this download will start. Uh, mine says Gemini 2 because I already tried it once and uh, in a previous video and made some mistakes. So uh, we're redoing it and we're gonna keep the file. And there's my Gemini.dmg. If I click the arrow tab in Chrome, I can open it. And there it is, opening it up. Checking the volumes, finishing. So there's the window with Gemini 2, the app. We're gonna drag that right over to our application, so that installs it. And let's just make sure it dropped in there. There, it looks like it did it. There's Gemini 2. Let's double click that. And it's going to warn us that it's something that was downloaded from the internet instead of the Apple Store, and that's all fine. So let's say open and that will launch the application. And in during that time, I'm gonna close some of these windows. So now we've got a ready to scan application and you can unlock the full version, but for now, let's just try out the free version. Looks like there's only one thing to do, scan for duplicates. So Gemini will now open photos to detect duplicates in your IF, in your photo library. Sure, let's open that. Now we're in a scan in progress area. I've sped the video up just to get us to this point a bit sooner. That last process took a few minutes, which you probably wouldn't want to sit around and watch in a YouTube video. Okay, so I paused the video back there because it looked like it was gonna take a while and it took about 20 minutes to go through that entire scan and it found 2.1 gigs of automatically selected duplicate files. Um, yours might be a bit higher than that, especially if your iTunes has a lot of duplicates in it or if your iPhoto does. Uh, what happens when I click Smart Cleanup? Once the cleanup is complete, you'll get a a window, uh, it's actually, there's a, there's gonna be a um, suggestion to buy the full version, which I always suggest people do just because it gives you that unlimited uh, ability to erase duplicate files and you end up saving a lot of money because you know the value of your computer, several thousand dollars in some cases, isn't really being fully used if you've got it clogged with duplicates. So you're actually getting much more uh, return on your computer investment by having it running at optimal power. And the software here is actually pretty inexpensive for what it does. So I always encourage people to go for that full paid version if they're uh, able to do so. So here we've got our cleanup complete window. And one thing I really like about this program is it lets you review the trashed. And in this situation, I've just got a, uh, a GoPro video that it deleted, I'm fine with that and I can review remaining files. Uh, but yeah, I encourage you to check this software out at least for free um, in the downloads, uh, or sorry, in the video description below, there's a free download link so you can try this out for yourself. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It's really helpful to me and you can also subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.